Hello there, so um, my name is Llewellyn, I'm the author of the Honest Guide to Stock Trading book. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thanks very much for buying it. Um, I hope it helps you improve your trading somewhat. Uh, but as promised in the book, uh, I just thought um, sometimes, you know, a bit of a visual learning aid is uh, a, ni a nice way of, you know, supplementing um, something you'll read about. So the first uh, video um, of, I think, is about 10, 10 little videos in this series, um, all of which are just going to walk you through the steps that I refer to in the book. So first of all, we're going to um, create our fundamental um, screeners. Um, and what they're going to do is just give us a variety of different watch lists, um, some, some of which are going to be for our weekly breakout strategy, some of which are going to be for our um, daily strategies, uh, and also something I, I didn't actually talk about in the book, uh, which is shorting the market. Um, I thought I'd also show you just a couple of little screeners you can run um, to possibly find some short candidates um, if, if you do want to short the market. Now, the reason I didn't talk about shorting the market in the book uh, is because uh, I, I didn't really want to um, take focus away from where most of your money is going to be made. Now, most of your money will be made on the long side, and that's just simply because, um, you, you know, the, fir the first thing is that shorting the market can be difficult. You are not always guaranteed to be able to find shares to short. So that's one of the reasons I didn't really want to look at it too much. But also, um, you know, stock markets do go up. You can look historically. Now, we're, we're all, we always have short and sharp corrections. But, um, you know, you can go back 100 years and stock mark. I mean, at the moment, stock markets are making all time highs. Um, and there just is a bias for the markets to go up. Um, you know, most of your money will be made riding bullish trends. Um, and because of that, as I say, that's why I didn't want to take away uh, focus from where you, you really want to be looking at to make your money. Now, obviously, when we do get corrections and we do get a bear mode in um, equity markets, then yes, you will want to play shorts. Um, and as I say, that's why I just thought I'd show you a couple of little screeners to give you um, some short candidates as well. But first of all, we're going to do our daily um, our daily breakout strategy and our daily counter trend strategy. Now that uses the same. Um, fundamental screeners. So if you don't remember them from the book, that's fine, because uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly go through them here, but really I just wanted to show you how to use the Finviz platform. So if you go to finviz.com, first of all, um, you know, you're presented with this screen. The first thing you'll want to do is register to Finviz. Now the reason you want to register is so you can save all these screeners um, and then you, you have uh, easy access to them. You can just log in and then as, I show you, uh, as I'll show you later, you can just click on screeners and you can look at all your saved screeners. And then it just becomes a case of every evening or every Sunday simply running through your screener you know it'll take about 10 minutes and then you've always got a trade candidate you know each day each e each evening and you know which which stocks you're going to be looking to trade the following day or the following week whatever time frame it is you may be trading so we just go to screener and then what you what you have here you if you look at these tabs you've got descriptive fundamental technical now from the descriptive um, section if you remember we always want our, our stocks to be over five dollars uh, we want uh, volume over two hundred thousand we always wanted relative volume because this is going to be the one and a half times volume moving average from the book this you know this uh, 1.5 here in the relative volume box will replicate that so we'll also click that on uh, float short if you remember we do not want um, more than five percent so we'll get that on there as well OK, so from the descriptive, those are all the uh, criteria we need. Fundamental now, we want earnings per share growth this year was over 20%. Sorry, uh, scrap that. It was earnings per share growth quarter over quarter, over 20%. Sales growth quarter over quarter, also over 20%. We wanted uh, institutional ownership, if you remember. We wanted that over 60%, and that's because, especially when we're trading counter-trend, we want to be sure that there are large institutional funds 
who are going to be supporting the price um, or alternatively we want to be taking advantage of um, when they're trying to get out of stocks because if you remember they can't because of their size they struggle to efficiently exit and enter the market so you know our counter trend strategy is looking to take advantage of that but obviously we're only gonna find those discrepancies uh, with the stocks which we know lots of institutions are invested in the first place so that's why that helps us there so uh, let me see what else did we have we want debt to equity under 0.5 um, actually just remember as well we want market cap over uh, 300 million okay and there was one more criteria we wanted our return on equity to be over 15% Okay, now you've set all these up and from the book, that is the fundamental rules for our daily breakout and daily counter trend um, strategies. We're only going to be using those strategies on stocks, okay, which are on this list. Now what I like to do is if you just look at this little bottom on Finviz, uh, on this little bar on finviz.com, you can click on charts and then it will show you the charts. Now what I like to do is click on candle. Okay, so it just gives you a, a little look at the charts. You can just click on this little time frame button to see the different time frames. But remember this is the daily time frame. Okay, so uh, at the moment there are, there are two stocks. Now what I also like to do, okay, now I, I didn't write about this in the book, um, so this is just for you guys who are watching the videos but um, we can save ourselves a bit of time because now we have the mechanical rules to our breakout strategy and our counter trend strategy but we can just make our screeners show us whether the rules are likely to be met um, in a more efficient way so if we go to technical as well so in this little bar here we can click technical and what we want to do is if, if we remember the we're, we're doing 40 day breakouts now if we um, simply click on the 50 day new high breakouts we're only going to get a list then of stocks which are breaking out to 50 day highs um, now we don't have to do that but sometimes it just helps us because we can also look at 20 day highs perhaps um, and it just means that you don't necessarily need to look at your watch list and then go into your charting package to see if it's met the rules there as well. Um, it's just a quicker way, you know, a, 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 it's just a rougher way of showing us whether the rules have been met. And what we can also do, you see, is if we are to make it a 50, 50 uh, day new high, so we do new highs, and then we can save that screener, okay, so if you go to my presets up here just click the little drop down box click save screen now remember you need to be logged in so I'll just log in to my to my uh, system here okay so what you would do as you can see I've already got my list so because we just created a new high so we had our, our all the rules from our book so the fundamental screening rules from our book for daily breakout and daily counter trend model but what we did is we added the 50 day new high as well so we can just call that our daily watch list new highs okay I won't do it because I've already done it here but if we go back to our screener if what you can then do is get rid of the new highs and uh, we don't actually have stochastics here but if you remember our counter trend model trade stochastics which are oversold now the RSI and the stochastics indicators will uh, you know they'll they'll often work kind of in sync with each other so if stochastics are oversold then you can be sure RSI is oversold so what you can do here is you can just uh, go to your RSI and say oversold 40 and then that's only going to give you a list of stocks which might possibly be giving us an oversold stochastics reading and again what you would then do with this RSI oversold so remember we've still got all our other rules but now we've gotten rid of the, the new high and we've added the oversold so again we can save screen and what I've got here if you just look here I've already saved it as daily watch list oversold so we've got a watch list of oversold and a watch list of new highs 
Now what that means is we um, we simply go into our drop down box here and we can each evening load up one of our pre-save screeners. So daily watch this oversold, daily watch this new highs and we just go through them. Uh, we've just saved the oversold on here so we would click on oversold we have this chart and then we would go over to our charting package and see if the exact rules of the daily counter trend model have been met. Now on the new highs, so we'd click daily watch this new highs, that hasn't given us a list, so we know that there are no breakout trades to be entered the following day using daily time frame strategies. Okay, so that's the daily time frame. What we uh, want to do now though is uh, set up a weekly time frame screener. So for our weekly time frame screener, um, just put in the rules from the book, the same way that I've just shown you how to do it with daily. Remember to save it to weekly breakout strategies um, and you're done. So remember, you just go to screener, you add all your information in these boxes and you'll find the, each of the criteria by just clicking on these little sub menus here, descriptive, fundamental, technical. Then you go to presets, save screen, call it your weekly breakout. And then every Sunday you would just look at that uh, list to see if you had any any penny stocks um, breaking out um, and if you do you know you do the further research which I'll uh, well which were explained in the book but I'll, I'll also um, reiterate in following videos. Now as promised at the beginning of the video I just want to show you um, we can also create some short lists okay so if you want to short the market now the daily shorts new lows just follow the same way of setting up your screener as I've shown you but for um, so what we want to do is we want to short the market. We'll have over 300 million market cap, over 200k average volume. Float short under 15% this time. So we don't mind having higher shorts. That's because we're going to be joining them. Over $5. I only look at USA, but you know you can look at other countries as well. Now, basically, we want to reverse the logic. So if we're if we're trading and buying stocks, we want to see good uh, sales growth and good uh, earnings growth. So we'll reverse that and we'll look for negative earning per share growth uh, quarter on quarter. Same with sales. And also we add a negative earning per share growth forecast for next year. Rather than having low debt, we, we're looking for high debt. So in the debt to equity box, just go high debt and that's that. And then technicals, we want the 50 day simple moving average below the 200 day simple moving average. And we're looking for 50 day new lows. So that's daily shorts, which are breaking out. Uh, so we can use our breakout rules in reverse. So reverse all the breakout rules for longs, and those are your shorts. Same with the overbought. The exact same screening criteria that I just explained for shorting the market. But now what we have is rather than looking for 50-day new lows, we look for RSI to be overbought. Uh, at the moment we have two stocks on that list so we would then look at these stocks on our charting package and if they have met the rules of the counter trend model in reverse so remember we're short in the market so we want the 40 uh, MA beneath 120 MA we want stochastics above 90 we want the price to close outside of the upper Bollinger Band and there's our, our, our short um, so as I say, you would just do that. And now all we got to do, guys, is every single day or every Sunday in the case of our super stocks, which is our weekly breakout list, we just click on each of them and they're just going to really quickly show us, OK, do we have any possible trades for tomorrow before we look at our charts and before we do our further research? Uh, and that's that. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you click on the next video, then I think I'm going to be getting into what we got in the next video. We're going to um, create the chart templates. So um, there we are. Click on uh, see next video and we'll set up our charts.